TJ. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back to my existing viewers and subscribers. In today's video, we are just going to kind of play around with the Cricut. Um, I am actually going to print some stickers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and print them. My printer is not in this room. It's in the next room. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, print that, and then put it into the Cricut and you'll be able to see that. So um, the paper, sticker paper that I'm using today is from Uline. I'll show you that. Um, so it's this one here. And I was just kind of testing out different papers, you know, different sticker paper. And so this is the one that has a lot. And I thought, well, let me go ahead and just, you know, use this one. Let's make that. Um, let me go ahead and get this sent to the printer and check my printer and eventually i want to have everything in one room where i have my my laptop because usually my laptop sits in the office and then the printer because it's so big it sits in the guest room um, but eventually i want to have everything in one room so that way i can kind of work and you can see everything that i'm doing uh, so let me go ahead and send this to the printer Preparing to print. Um, I've already printed some stickers here. These are just, you know, just different stickers that I'll be printing. Um, I've printed some special delivery and happy mail uh, stickers. So just, ha I just want to have them ready. Um, so I have like this little set here, which actually I'm gonna, I have stickers in this one right now, but I'm gonna take them out of here and put them in the other one, the other container I have. So this one is just basically gonna be like the packaging stickers and postcard um, or thank you cards, as you could see I have here, and then the hanging tags. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm doing with this little set here. This is gonna be like the um, shipping thing. Uh, let me see, where did my printer thing go? Here it is, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print this one. And then let me bring this back up. And I'm gonna say printable stickers and I'm gonna say more. Hopefully, I haven't tested these, so hopefully it works. Um, these ones, as you can see, I did, I tested them on paper and then they worked, you know, they, they, they cut just the way that I wanted them to. So I went ahead and cut some here. We'll cut some more of these so you can see. But give me just a second. I'm going to go ahead and um, run over to the other room and get the stickers. Be right back. All right, so now I have my sticker sheet. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it onto my mat and then I'm going to add the, um, I'll show you right now, the laminated adhesive. I need to buy more. I just saw that it's kind of low. So let me go ahead and move that over there. Um, so I use the Avery self adhesive um, laminating sheets. And what I do is like I keep these because sometimes you could just, you know, print the top, you know, that way you're not wasting because, I mean, look, there's just a whole sheet of laminated and then the Cricut doesn't allow you to fill the whole sheet. I wish it did. I don't know why it only lets you do a certain amount. It's so irritating. So what I do is I just go ahead. I'm going to tip the camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So give me just a second. All right, so here I have my mat and I have my paper on there just like that. And so what I'm gonna do is um, just kind of measure it here and then I'm gonna cut that instead of putting the whole sheet on there because I feel like it's just a waste. It really irritates me that it does that. Um, so I'll just cover where the mark is. So I'm gonna cut from here and then about six over, so. Let 
And then this way, I will use these. See how much you still have? Like I had, I earlier when I made these, I used two sheets that were like this and I just covered them um, because I just feel like that's such a waste. So I'm gonna go ahead, got my little scraper thing here, take the peel off, I have my trash can here, and then see how that looks like that? I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the top, make sure that looks good. And then what you wanna do is just remove the peel slowly so you don't have any air bubbles or any wrinkles in the, um, the glossy part on the top part, right? On the adhesive. Sorry, if you are moving, this table is not that sturdy. I mean, if you like to see how I Hopefully this works because I didn't test them. I usually test it on paper, put it through the Cricut to see how it's going to cut. Um, I usually make get these from like Canva or different places and then I make them into stickers. So let's cross our fingers that it's going to work. So let me turn you over to the Cricut as you can see there. Um, I'm gonna stick this in just like this, and then I will hit the little arrow. Okay, come on. So let's go ahead and look at this. Sorry if that is, I just wanted you to see the Cricut better. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the, hit the C that's flashing here. Now it was acting like a fool before, and then I, when I ever, when I um, did the calibration, it, it started to work better. So hopefully it stays working good. And I hope that I'm able to cut, cause then, then that would be cool, and then I can really show you how I did this. Um, well, I could show you how I did the other ones, cause that one I did pull, I pulled from Canva and created the sheets, and then I just make them into the, um, um, I guess they're called Chris Cut stickers because they're individual. Um, yeah. So it's just, right now it's just scanning it just to see if it reads, you know, the lines and detecting what it needs to cut. I don't want the mat to fall, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Um, now it's just finalizing everything. And then now it's gonna get ready to cut. And I'm hoping that it cuts the way that I need it to. And I think it's working, guys. I think it's gonna do exactly what I wanted it to do. Yes. Yep, it is, so that's awesome. I'm glad that it's doing what I wanted it to do. These are gonna be cool stickers. And I'm making stickers just for freebies. Um, so whenever they order, whenever a customer orders something, I'll give them some stickers, but I don't want them to just have like, I want them to have like a set. So maybe I give them two free stickers, but that they match um, or match, you know, match to what they're buying. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this really quick. See how that looks there, the sticker's there, so I know that it cut through, and I'm gonna go ahead and push that arrow. Um, now let me go ahead and situate situate you back on this side, so give me just All right, so now that we got our stickers cut out, um, let's see how good they look. It bothers me that I'm wasting this paper here too. Um, but look, guys, aren't those cute? Now let me get a different box. I wanna make them different, like, you know, a themed. Okay, that's cute. Look at that, isn't that cute? 
Now this one kind of got stuck together because it was so close, but that's okay. Look at that. Don't those look good? So I have a couple of sheets in the printer. I'm gonna go ahead and make some more of these. Um, so that way we have plenty when the orders start coming in. So this is like if you're trying to do a business, guys, or even like a sticker business, um, you can start getting stuff ready. Uh, so that way you are, I'm gonna go ahead and hit done and then we make them. We are gonna make them. Cause I already got some paper already there. So I might as well go ahead and get them done. Send to the printer. Uh, that's not the printer I want. I have like three different printers right now. I have, a, I have two I have two laser jet and then one ink jet. Um, and my, these stickers are being printed on my laser jet and look how good that looks. Um, yeah, I love it. So my ink jet, I use it for other things. And then my other laser, I, um, I used to be a notary and I did loan documents and so I needed a laser printer and so I would print all of the documents on there. Um, but I just felt like that doesn't, it wasn't, it was more wear and tear on the car and gas and you know, I didn't make enough to justify me continuing in that path. So let me go grab the stickers, I'll be right back. You know what I'm thinking I might do is cut, cut here. And then that way I can just like fill the top and you know, that way I'm not wasting. Um, Cause I just feel like this is such a waste you guys. Uh, I think I'll do that. I'll wait till I have enough. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing. Putting my paper here. And let's go ahead and get some adhesive. Um, I'm gonna have to get some more because I'm running out. Oops, I forgot where here. All right. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that way, if I cut them and I use that and I just feel the top, don't shut off, I can uh, use like this part of it for that piece. You know what I mean? Saving being, you know, trying not to be wasteful. All right, so let me turn this around. Make sure I got this right, yep. I like this easy pill too. All right. Sorry if this is moving a lot. I just, this is a craft table that is that you're on, you're sitting on, and it isn't that sturdy. But hopefully, I'll be able to not in this house. One day, have everything in one in a room. Like I'm trying to find a house that has um, a huge upstairs. You know, just one big open room, and that way I can have everything there. All right, so that is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this into the Cricut and hit printable sticker paper. And then I always do more as my pressure. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and click here. So hopefully you can see. Let me move this. There we go. Click 
go. Click the flashing arrow. Now I'm gonna click the flashing C and Cricut's gonna do its thing. So far, it's been good. I'm glad that it's working for me because I spend all that money on this machine and then for it not to work. Um, I did do, I did not show you, but if you go onto my website, you will see that there's a truck and it says like gone antiquing or gone thrifting. I made that using the Cricut um, and maybe I'll do a video of that. I do have a video coming up where I show you my own template to make a tote, a large, a pretty, you know, large one, and then a smaller one um, that I'll be making for uh, my website. And I'll talk to you about that later. But today we're just gonna talk stickers and Cricut. So it's finalizing now. and it's going to get ready to cut. There it goes. Let me bring you closer so you can see it in action. I'm trying not to start sanding the light because you know that they need light to be able to cut and do its job, but there it is. I'm gonna move you back. That's one of the reasons why I moved the Cricut here because there's a window here and it has all that natural light and it's brighter on this side than where it was originally. Um, I might move this to my office temporarily because the printer is closer to that room and plus I'm, you know, when I use my laptop, I need to connect it because having the um, laptop without it being plugged in the battery goes down it dies faster and so i'm always having to do a little bit here and then go back and charge my um thing so before we take it off we want to make sure it did it cut so we'll click that and then what i'm going to do is hit done and i'm going to print the next set because i have i think i put three sheets in there um in the printer so that way it'll be ready to do the next I'm gonna do send to the printer. We're gonna turn off the ad bleed, use system dialog. Let me select the right printer and then print. And usually the little dialog comes in the back of your, so you have to minimize the Cricut thing um, and then you can print. So that's sent to the printer. Let me go ahead and take these off. I'm so excited, I'm loving these. They are so vibrant. I love vibrant colors for some reason. So I'm gonna take that because I'm going to cut it. And my cutter, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like I am very, very satisfied. Look at that, isn't that cute? Okay, here's, this is the one that, because I've already create, you know, did the little layout, I'm okay with just cutting over that. Isn't that cute? It had a little hard time taking that piece out, but there it is. So cute. So, so, so cute. Look at that. I love sunflowers. I don't know. When I look at them, it just, it just, I just feel happy for some reason. Look at the little scooter. So cute. Okay, let me go grab the other ones. I suppose I could um, make them smaller, but I think these are a good size for stickers. Like, I, yeah, they're about two inches. Like, I don't wanna make them smaller because then you can add more, but no, I don't wanna do that. So let me go ahead and line this up. And whenever you line your sheet up, you have to look at how it's set in the Cricut. I'll show you really quick. So, if you could see here, hopefully you can, um, you gotta look at the pictures and lay it out that way. Otherwise, 
If it's not the same, it won't cut the same. Okay, so let's get another sheet. Give me a second. six across. So there's three, and then there is three. And then here's my sheet. And let me move it this way. And then I just save my projects in my Cricut. So that way I, I can just go to my projects, pull it up, and then I have it there and I don't have to recreate the wheel. And actually what I do is I go and I create a bunch of them and then I'll test them all on just regular paper and act like I'm printing stickers or whatever I'm doing. Um, sorry if you're moving, guys. And then if it works, you know, I save it. If it doesn't, then I'm like, well, this one I didn't test, so I got lucky. But sometimes it will, the Cricut will want to go and cut every little detail out. And so I have to tell it no. You have to add an offset to your stickers. Okay, so here they are, ready to go in here. Let me tell Cricut to do printable sticker paper. I'm gonna put more to the pressure. And then it's gonna blink over here. And we're going to, I'm sorry about that guys. It's going to do the flashing C. And there it goes. I'm always afraid it's gonna fall. Like they should have made this thing like have an a, like a little wheel thingy to bring out to hold it. Because I always feel like it's gonna fall. And I can't push this back because when they it's scanning, the mat hits the wall. So that's why I have the cricket to the end edge of here. So there's plenty of space for the mat to go back and forth. But you always want to have your Cricut in a well-lit place. If you don't have like a lamp or something, then, um, you know, really close to a window where there's a lot of natural light. And in the other room, it's really, really bright. So I think that what I want to do is hopefully get, I saw at Michael's, they had like a Cricut cart um, where you can put your Cricut and, and all the supplies in it. I might get that and then put it, it'll fit in that other room. That way, whenever I'm working on the Cricut, I can just do it from there. I don't have to go back and forth. Um, Cause like I said, I have two color printers. One is in the office and the other one is in the room closer to the office. Um, so we'll see. I'm like so in love with these stickers. Look at them, they're so pretty. Right now, I'm just gonna do uh, three sheets. I'll probably work, like, cause the sun is setting. It's not setting, it's only 2.44 p.m., but it's kind of dark overcast. So I'm gonna wait, maybe hopefully tomorrow when the sun's out, I'll do more stickers and I'll print more of my thank you cards and hang tags and um, yeah, just do different designs. All right, so remember, before you pull it off, you always wanna make sure that it did cut and then pull the arrow. I'm gonna hit done on my crick, on my laptop and then just pull this off gently. And I'm saving these because I'm gonna cut the bottom because this is sticker paper and um, that way I can use them. Like I will just put stickers across and that way I'm not wasting because you know, with everything going up in price, like it's ridiculous. Isn't that cute? And then the butterfly. I love the butterfly. Like I think I might make some butterflies and stick them on there. Although I don't like to put stickers on my things. I just love the way that looks. I love butterflies and sunflowers. 
Okay, so these kind of got, you know, again, because I need to um, space them on my, in the Cricut. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? I'm like so pleased with the, how they turned out. And then there's a little lace one. So here are some of those. I only did three sheets of these. Like I said, the uh, light is kind of going. I'm pretty sure we could still do more. Um, but I'm going to wait because I have, I want to print some more of these, these here and these. Um, and then I have some other ones that I want to print. Um, so yeah, I forgot like my whole set here. I'm also uh, looking to do different things. So different crafty things. Like I said, let me go ahead and move you over here adjust you so you could see me and not look at my empty mat so I am going to be doing different um I don't know you look kind of wonky to me but that's just how it's going to be so I'm going to be doing different things with my Cricut and I'll be doing more Cricut videos um but if you want to see how I did the stickers using um, Canva and then saving that and uploading it into Cricut, just let me know in the comments below. Um, also, I also created my thank you cards in Canva and I also, I don't know if this one has it. No, these ones are the first sets that I did. Um, so I'll have to do, so my second set, I actually added a, a scan code thingy so that way you can scan it it'll take you directly to my website but I'm going to add one that gives you a discount um but the thing is is maybe I won't do that I'll have to figure it out because in order for me to use the scan thing with my my discount it it makes me upgrade because I don't, I want it to just be used one time. And so my, um, I use Squarespace, Squarespace, if you hear me, you need to fix that. Um, because I'm already paying a lot a month and, um, I might move to Shopify, but I'm not sure yet. Um, so anyways, when I do the scan code thingy, it, it, when I set up, when I want to set up like, okay, only use one time, it makes me upgrade my website and I'm already on the middle tier. And I feel like if you're in the middle tier, why should you have to upgrade? Like, you know, I'm already paying like a lot, you know, like, no. So I was going to play around with Shopify and see how that works. And if I can set up all of the things and pay the same amount, then I might move to Shopify, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do a website. Um, so that's why I haven't done it yet. So anyways, we've got these stickers done today. I did these earlier. I mean, look at the little, sh look at this, you guys. Isn't that adorable? And then look at this one. Like, seriously, so cute, right? And then look at the boot. Oh my God, I thought that was just so cute. And then the little guitar. I mean, look at how detailed that is. Like, it's so tiny and it did such a good job. Um, and then we have the hat. So I, you know, created these, tested them and I like, this is my test. And I was like, okay, I love it. So I saved that. And what I'm gonna do is I think on this one, I think I'm going to adjust the, um, what the heck is it called? Let me, I'll tell you right now. Hold on just a sec. The, Oop, cancel that. I was trying to make them again. And I'm not trying to make them. I said I was done. So let me go into a new project. The offset. I think I need to adjust the offset a little more on that. But when I tried to do it, it got too close. And I didn't want it to cut like these little like leaves that are hanging here and stuff like that. So I may have to just play around with the offset on these ones and um, see if I can get them because look at these. I mean, look how close that, is. I tried to widen this one and it didn't, it went too wide. So it's, I guess a hit or miss. So those are the stickers I have done today. And if you're interested, just comment below. Let me know um, what you're interested in doing. If you want to do the happy mail, here, I'll show you what that looks like. I'll take them out. We've got Happy Mail, 
And then we have special delivery. And then I have my thank you cards and my hang tags. I think I'm gonna change my hang tags up a little bit. Um, and yeah, so got some of these. Um, and then stickers, you know, just, I have more stickers over there, but these are more like a little more grown up than the other one. So, cause I have like kid stickers for, if they order something for a kid, um, I can put that for the kid. Um, but anyways, that is what we got. So if you are wanting to, I've also, well, I guess we'll get to that later. Um, so if you want to learn how to do thank you cards or hang tags or stickers in Cricut or using Canva and Cricut, let me know. I will definitely do a video for you. Just comment below. Um, just say yes, Cricut, and then that way I know what you want me to do and we can go from there. I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial and have a fantastic day. Bye.